very quickly. It's a worship time in God's presence. And um, it's our daily worship moment. And it's also, also the continuation of hope for the nation because worship affects the nations. Tonight we are going to read Second Chronicles chapter 5, verse 13 and 14. Second Chronicles chapter 5, verse 13 and 14. He said, it came even to, the, to pass as the trumpeters and singers were as one to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. And when they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praised the Lord, saying, For he is good, for his mercy endureth forever, that the house was filled with a cloud, even the house of the Lord. So the priests could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord had filled the house. The Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. I'm charging on the subject, the, sov the sovereignty of God through worship. The sovereignty of God through worship. From the climate of worship, from the atmosphere of worship, the sovereignty The in chargeness of God can be made manifest. The priests were worshiping, and suddenly Jehovah stepped in and practically and literally overruled. When we talk about the sovereignty of God, we're talking about three basic things. Number one is the supremacy of God. That is the fact that God is on top. That nobody and nothing is higher than God. By like God's servant, Pastor Yadebo, he says, he's higher than the highest, bigger than the biggest. Wiser than the wisest, older than the oldest, taller than the tallest, is the supremacy of God. From the climate of worship, we can provoke the sovereignty of God, which equals the supremacy of God, the number oneness of God. The second thing. Sovereignty refers to the dominion of God. First is his supremacy. Second is his dominion. The weightiness of God. The authoritativeness of God. The powerfulness of God. At the place of worship, that can be provoked. Where God can manifest himself to show that there is nobody and nothing as powerful as he. The supremacy of God, the dominion of God, and finally, the control of God. The sovereignty of God refers to his control over the affairs of men, affairs of life. We are going to worship tonight focusing on the sovereignty of God. There are many people who have asked many questions. If the power of God exists in the earth, if there are healing and miracle ministries, Science and Wonders Ministries 
and God had ever healed the blind and healed cancers and healed, raised the dead and those kind of things. Why did that healing power or maybe a combination of the healing unctions around the earth not deal with coronavirus immediately? I believe that God saw it and allowed it. There are many things that God will watch for reasons we may not know until we meet him. For example, Jesus passed through the beautiful gate and yet the man that was born crippled remained there until he went to heaven. It was Peter that healed the man later. Why the coronavirus epidemic was allowed, we may never be able to tell. But now, Lord, reveal that you are still God. Show your sovereignty. Show the world that you didn't lose control of the earth. At least if there is anything that the epidemic showed the world, it showed that everything under heaven can fail. Medical systems can fail. Governments can fail. Economies can fail. That the only person that cannot fail is God. But now, Lord, show us your sovereignty, your supremacy, your dominion, your control. Those who have, who have doubt, if there is a God, if there is a power of God, why did all these things happen? Show them that you have not, you didn't shift from your throne. By the manifestations you will put forth in this season. By the kind of things you will, you will do. Show the world that you are God. That you are on the throne. And that you are in control. As we worship tonight, let that be in your heart. And let that be your focus. Stand up on your feet. And let us lift up our hands and our voices. Everywhere you are, be in an attitude of worship. When the worship starts, you want to sit, you can. You want to, you want to, to kneel down, you can. You should just take any position that you think is the best position for you. Lift up your hands and let us worship. Don't forget what I said in case you feel like 